up. But by the time this interview is out, the show is going to be out. So congratulations on Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities. What is that like kind of building up to that release and now having it out globally? Well, we actually shot it last October. So it's been a year and they really did it in terms of like how they shot it. Each episode is at least in terms of scheduling was shot like it's its own feature film. So I understand like the process and how much um, how much work would go into post for this kind of production. So yeah, it's been a while since I worked on it and now it's fun to like kind of like remember everything we did and you know uh, talk about it. Yeah, I mean, for anyone who hasn't been able to watch it yet, what can they expect from this series as a whole? So um, that's also the fun part is each episode is completely different, like a different cast, different director, different storyline. It's all anthology, uh, like it's an anthology series. So I don't know what anyone can expect from the other episodes. Um, Like I barely know what can happen, like what's, you know, the, the whole of my episode, because it's like we kind of you kind of work in your own little chunks and you do your thing and then the rest is like kind of in their hands. So yeah, I'm truly just as excited as everyone else to watch everything. Yeah, and talking more about your episode and your character Doyle, what was that like kind of bringing him to life? Like what was your inspiration for that? Cause it's kind of a different topic or genre than what most people are used to. Yeah, I was really, um, Keith Thomas was the director and he's this like really fantastic like actress director who um, when I first got the job we like talked for an hour and a half on Zoom about um, like my guy's really quiet like Doyle's like a quiet kind of like observant dude he's an art student but this is like set in a world where the artists who are at this art school are kind of all it's like relatively highfalutin like this is like um very much about the classics and um tradition and I think that that's like probably one of the most exciting parts of the episode is the contrast between that world full of tradition and expectation and classicism and then having uh Crispin Glover's character come in and absolutely disrupt that and then have you know, the world open up. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. And the show itself is very dark and ominous. I'm wondering what was set like? Was Are there any memories you have from being on set and you're like, this is amazing? Yeah, so it was, um, you know, I love being on, like at work. <laughs> I would do it if I didn't. Um, but yeah, there was like a lot of, I also think, you know, I think it came by honestly with like everyone I worked with, but in terms of like uh, like other actors, like lots of like kind of quiet reading and like in general, like talking about books. And, like, you know, it was, um, I've been to like jobs where it's like, you know, people are like constantly just like singing or like, um, I don't know, like it's very uh, like, just like high energy banter always, but there was like a really beautiful kind of like, calm nature to this job um that I honestly like you know kind of informed everything I don't know if the universe does that or like it was like great casting or something but um yeah it was like really nice (laughs) yeah and del Toro Gimor del Toro is a huge name in film and tv what was that like kind of stepping into his universe um firstly like an absolute shock and then (laughs) honor and then I was like oh my god like I can't believe this is happening um and then and then ultimately like I think uh with his his sensibility and the way he tells stories and what he tells stories about are so important and I really think now is a time to be exploring the other and um what what maybe would be like a like a, an unconscious judgment you might place on someone or um, like a, a, a push away of something. Um, but this is really about exploring that uh, and learning from some somebody else that you may otherwise not even listen to. So like that is just the most, uh, that's the point for me for storytelling is like expanding someone's relationship to something they may not understand um, or something that they, yeah, may not even, 
uh, be exposed to or something. So I, th I think like in a roundabout way, um, it became like a, like bigger than me in a way. Like I was like, oh, I, like you, you cannot understand like a, a real, a real point here. No. Yeah, and I know you said you don't know a lot about the other episodes, but if you could describe, like nothing, <laughs> if you could describe your episode in three words, what would they be? Um, yeah, I could do that. Um, I would say, um, I would say, <laughs> I would say, unexpected. Um, pointy because I'm like a visceral kind of person okay. there's something pointy about it you'll maybe understand better when you watch and um I would say purposeful okay yeah yeah I absolutely would say <laughs> those three words your answers yeah yeah <laughs> take me a second to get there <laughs> no but I know you're just like gearing up for this release and by the time this is out it'll be out but do you have any future projects that you can kind of hint at or talk about yeah, I'm out. Well, I'm not at work right now, but um, I'm like, we're uh, on a job right now. Um, that's like very different from this. And I was kind of talking about this uh, recently with like uh, another, uh, like at another interview. And I was like, as long as my jobs are completely different all the time, like I'm satiated as an artist. Um, and like, it doesn't have to be like this specific kind of job or that specific kind of job. It more so just like, I want to bounce from this way over here. Um, and that I think is like, it keeps it really fun for me. Um, so this job is like a Christmas movie that I, okay. <laughs> um, that I think is like super cute. And so, yeah, it's um, called Twas the Night Before Christmas. It'll be on Hallmark. Um, Tori DeVito, great actress. Uh, she's in it. Um, and Zane Holtz and yeah it's a vibe <laughs> I mean I love a good Christmas Hallmark movie so yeah me too on that <laughs> <laughs> I was like oh this is fun okay cool <laughs> yeah it's definitely different and you're definitely keeping that yeah. range I mean going from this dark and ominous thing to like a happy Christmas movie is definitely challenging as an actor yeah it kind of took me a second to like um I was like oh like He's smiling all the time. Like my character was like, like the guy I play now, Sean. Uh, the the story is like uh, about this Christmas play, uh, and uh, I, I like Sean is the stage manager for the play, and lots of things happen. It's chaotic, and you know, sorts of things occur, and figure it out. Um, yeah, it took me a minute. I was like, oh, I've been going out for like really dramatic, like you know, big drama stuff. I think it's like, oh, you do this kind of job, and then all of a sudden, you know, it was pretty easy to do another job just kind of you know in that same energy but yeah this is a vibe <laughs> yeah well congratulations on everything and I can't wait to see what the future holds thank you so much for doing this interview oh thank you for having me I really appreciate it